Hi D23 members, I'm Andreas Deja and today I'm going to draw the villain from the movie Beauty and the Beast, Gaston. All right, here we go, Gaston, see if I can still draw him. So, of course, what we usually do, we just block things in and then before we commit to details, but in the case of Gaston, I really want to have his sort of upper body involved, flexing his muscles, because that's what he usually does half the way through the picture. <laughs> So I'm just blocking things in. This is where his neck would be. The funny thing is I remember Don Hahn giving me a subscription to Muscle Fitness. <laughs> so I would have all that additional reference to get the anatomy right on this guy. Now I can focus on the head and do some of the details. Start sort of in the center with his nose. And you could probably have that crooked smile, overly confident. And his jaw will be just about here. The thing with him is that he doesn't really look like a villain. You know, he could be the hero of a story, but we find out through the story that he is no good. He's full of himself, becomes even a murderer at the end of the, the movie. So he sort of develops into a bad guy throughout the story. His hairdo was sort of combed backward, a little bit like Scar. And then he's got this little ponytail in the back. Rest on his shoulders. I'm going to give him the lidded look, which shows like confidence as he's checking out his biceps. So I'm still here fairly light with my, with my line work, so I want to be sure that I get the proportions right. And this is pretty much like the old animators drew as well. You sort of block things in, uh, in, a, in a light way and then you sort of go over it and darken things up and commit to the final shapes and lines. Make this biceps a little larger. That's what he's all about. And uh, yeah, even his uh, hands had to be drawn carefully and realistically, because they were real hands. So I couldn't really uh, treat him as a cartoon character per se. He was a real guy who doesn't mean well. A little bit of chest hair. We only showed that in a few scenes, because so we tried to avoid it. Because uh, sometimes, if you're not too careful with a pattern like this, it can crawl uh, on his chest. So we try to get, get away with it. But there are a few scenes where we show it. And this other arm would be right, just right on here. And just to give the drawing a little bit of tone. We'll darken in the hair. So yeah, the idea would really is to, to treat him like a bodybuilder and uh, without overdoing it with the anatomy because you can go too far and get carried away. Uh, so I need to simplify some of this, but you know that this guy, this guy works out. He goes to the local gym. So that's roughly how I would draw him. <laughs> 